Good morning, everyone. I'm kind of happy that this is not so bright as the um, the preview I did on my rear-facing camera. Oh, great. Now, now there's light coming in. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's because of my window. But I'm in my bed right now, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about being human. Being human is the fact that you remember that you drank some wine last night. You're not a drinker. And then you ask your friend Joseph to give him give you his wine and you've got that little pain in your head right here and you've got like about I would say literally about five or six orders sitting downstairs from yesterday and you have a class to teach tonight we won't talk about the varied art projects and things I gotta put on my website and books I've got to read and pills I've got to pay, and the fact that I, I don't feel like doing a goddamn thing. I think that sometimes it's a good thing just to lay here and scroll Facebook and not do a damn thing. But I've got so much to do. And I think one of the biggest challenges that a lot of us face is that we don't know how to, well, separate separate um, the things that we must do versus the things that we're wasting our time and we really shouldn't be doing. And the things that we really just need for self-care, the things that we need to maintain our mental health. You know, I'm thinking, what can I do today to maintain my mental health? I think I'm going to get that pedicure I've been promising myself for about six months. You know, as I keep cutting my own toenails and thinking I'm too fat and too fucking old for this, I should be able to pay for somebody else to fix my feet. So, yeah, <laughs> you see, you're having the exact same morning. Can you just get a cloud? It's like, look, daddy, I'm not trying to do a damn thing. But the funny thing is, and I know that you're just like me, and there are a lot of people just like me, but... It's not that I don't want to do this stuff because I absolutely love it. It's just that I really want to lay in this bed for as long as humanly possible. And let's let's explain this because this is once again that counter um, productive, even self destructive behavior. Because number one, I'm fucking starving, and you know nobody's up. I'm always the first one up here. Nobody's going to give me anything to eat. And I'm starving. Secondly, I have to pee. <laughs> and the, my bathroom is right here in my bedroom. And I'm just like, I know. Because you know the minute that you get up, you are going to just hit the ground running. And you're never going to come back here. That's one of the People don't understand why my room stays so clean. Because I only sleep in it. I don't do anything else in my room. Come off if you throw your clothes in the hamper. Your bedroom can stay clean. The, yes, the energy of the world is hibernation. And that's possibly a lot to do with the winter or kind of the craziness that's going on. But yeah, I really, really, really need to go sit in somebody's... Um, pedicure chair because it's sandal season i'm gonna need all y'all to do me a favor and yeah this is really this this is not a post about magic this is mostly a post about petty and tired but please 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 if your feet are bust down wear the right type of shoe nobody wants to see that it says that my connection is weak so i might break up you know, I dislocated one of my toes. I don't know how. I think it was putting on, you know, those slide on. I got, I call them fugs, my fake Uggs. And so, like, I got a toe that, like, now looks like the Vulcan sign from um, Star Trek. And, you know, I'm almost 50, so I'm, you know, I'm going to deal with it, you know. But I've always taken care of my feet. No corns, no bunions, none of that stuff. So I got this fucked up toe now, so that I have to sell or give away shoes where wearing them is just simply not a good look anymore. And I think that a lot of people, um, ooh, paraffin, yeah, that's nice. Um, 
jujitsu, right? Like, I'm like, but you all don't know. I, I could not figure out why my toe had done this for months. Instead of just going to the doctor to see what could be done, and really nothing can be done short of surgery, and like, fuck that. There are a few things in my life that I'm not going to let somebody touch unless it's life or death. And one of them is my feet, and the other one is my eyes. You're not going to touch none of these things unless it's going to be in an effort to save my life. Otherwise, I'm going to keep wearing glasses till I go completely blind, fuck a LASIK, and I will wear jeans. I'm old now. I will wear closed-toed sandals. I wear sensible shoes. I don't wear fucking heels anymore. I work at home. I have a full-time job as an instructional designer where I design classes, and I have this job. So I have two full-time jobs. I got to wear that shit. So I've got to go somewhere and be comfortable. That's my brother-in-law calling to FaceTime me. And he always does it. Every time I get on Facebook Live, that's when he decides, oh, you know, let's talk to Tracy. And it's because I asked this morning to speak to my uh, my niece because I missed her birthday yesterday. So I just felt like being petty and talking about how I'm just so fucking incredibly lazy this morning and how, I, you see, I got these blackout blinds. I'm not trying to go nowhere. I'm not trying to do nothing. I know I got y'all's orders. I know you want your stuff. I know I got a class to teach tonight. But this morning, I'm feeling incredibly human. So, I got to go. I got to go say happy birthday to my niece. And after that, I'm sure after talking to an eight-year-old, I will no longer feel well-rested. I will be energized by her hype. And I will be getting out of bed to do all of those things that I'd rather just not. So you all have a beautiful weekend and try to be productive even though you think you might not want to be.